I shit in a bag once. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not what it says. Shut up, that's mine. <laughs> next one, next one. <laughs> I helped my dad hide his affairs and enabled his infidelity in exchange for monetary benefits. When my mum found out, I laughed at her. Oh my God, this is going to be a savage story. Mm. I'm a 28-year-old woman. My mum is a textbook wasp mum. What does that mean? W-A-S-P. It's Let's like, Google it. No, no I think it must be like a really proper. I don't soccer. know. I'm just the only thing I'm thinking of is soccer mum, but why wouldn't it? Why wouldn't it just say that? Wasp mum. Maybe like really disciplined. And it's in very cats. strict. Because if strict I'm, parent, yeah. I'm gonna mm-hmm. try and take that from the title. She doesn't like her mum very much. White Anglo Anglo Saxon Saxon Protestant. Wait, Protestant. 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 No. Protestant. 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 Is that how you say that? Yeah. yeah. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I obviously know nothing about religions. Um, why English? Okay, okay, okay. She's a wasp. All right, there you go. She's now a wasp. Now we know. She's okay. super religious then, right? White Anglo-Saxon Protestant mum. She's never worked a day in her life. She thinks the universe revolves around her and that everyone should cater to her needs. While growing up, she constantly made snide remarks about my weight. Mm. <gasps> She dismissed my hopes and dreams for the future by openly making fun of them. Oh, she sucks. Okay, I get why you left. Yeah. She has a lot of internalized misogyny and would go on and on about how I needed to be pretty to land a rich husband. The only reason my self-esteem wasn't destroyed was because I was close to my aunt, my mom's sister. She's a wonderful woman and became the strong female role model that my mother should have been. She indulged my hobbies, such as comic books and martial arts, that mom didn't approve of, and actually listened patiently when I needed to talk. Aww. Unlike my mum, who made every single conversation about herself. My dad wasn't abusive to me, but he wasn't really there for me either. He took a special interest in my brother, and the two of them did things together and never invited me along. Aww. My aunt and uncle, her husband, and my cousins were my real family who loved me. Now on to the cheating. I'm the one who walked in on my dad in bed with his secretary. I was 17. It was on a weekend. I was supposed to be at a friend's house. But for some reason, I came home early. I could hear noises coming from the master bedroom. I know my mum's voice, and this wasn't her. Ah, I didn't want to walk in, so I just called out to my dad. Suddenly, it was all quiet, and a few minutes later, my dad came out and tried to tell me that he was watching TV. I told him I knew he had someone in there and went into my room. I honestly didn't feel anything and decided I could use this to my advantage. I struck a deal with my dad. He would pay for me to go to whichever college I wanted as long as I kept his secret. So I was able to attend business school against my mom's wishes. I even helped arrange a, f- a few of my dad's rendezvous with his ladies. Really? And he paid me handsomely for it. I would arrange for them to meet up at an apartment my dad kept for this specific purpose. His girlfriends usually had my number too, just so it would be easier to know when they could get together. What? Actually, I'm the one who suggested that my dad get a separate apartment for his hobby. The whole time I felt no guilt. I didn't owe this family anything after the way I'd been treated. I stopped being involved in it after I got my degree. I had already gone no contact with my mum after finishing high school. After college, I went very low contact with my dad and only spoke to my brother occasionally. Oh, about, dad. Um, about a week ago, one of my dad's exes told mum all about my dad's affair and also about how I had helped him. Mum became hysterical and actually travelled to the city where I lived to yell at me. I just laughed in her face about how her perfect life was nothing but a lie. She bawled for a while before I told her to get lost. My brother found out just three days ago and is mad at me too. But I don't really care. I don't think what I did was wrong. I just made the best out of a bad situation. Oh, my God. Whoa. Oh, my God. Whoa. That's so crazy. That's fucking nuts. Oh, my it's like, God. She didn't exploit her dad, though. and In my opinion, he exploited her. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, he, he took advantage of his teenage daughter, like to get his own way and hide his shit instead of being like, I should come clean because this could potentially damage her. Do you know what I mean? But he was like, no, help me hide. (laughs) No, you're going to be But she offered to help. I no, think... she, like, I don't know, but she is a teenager. You, like, that's, like, shit I did was a teenager. Like, doesn't mean it was okay, that mindset or thinking. Like, he okayed it and then was like, I'm going to pay you even more if you help me even more. Like, she, she was effectively her dad's pimp. Yeah, yeah that's so funny. Yeah. Goes far as saying 
Except Almost. they weren't making money, but yeah, she was. Kind she of. was the only one yeah. making money. Yeah, yeah, that's so funny. Yeah, she was pimping out her dad. That's yeah, hilarious. effectively. Yeah. <laughs> that is so mad. That's hilarious. Um, oh my god. I don't know. I feel very sad about that. Yeah, that's yeah. a very sad story. Like I'm so close with my mom. I can't imagine ever, ever, yeah, like hating my just even hating a family member. That much, yeah, yeah, giving well, a yeah. Fuck. Someone, yeah, like someone's literally being that much of a dick to you, yeah, like, like literally not yeah. giving a fuck that much, and then like laughing in their face and being like, This is what you deserve, yeah, what you think your life is mean. so perfect. Like, she must have been a horrible mom, imagine to, to like be able to be in that house knowing that your dad's doing this, knowing that you're doing all this behind her back. It must have, like, that sense of revenge must have felt... It must have helped so, through, yeah, like, through it Like, you don't even bit. fucking know, bitch. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. Yeah, shout at me about business school. You don't even know why I'm fucking getting paid to do this. Like, yeah. <laughs> you don't even know. <laughs> it must have been, like, you... It must have been so easy to detach yourself once you left for, like, college and stuff because you would have had to be emotionally detached from all of them. Mm-hmm. Like, you would have because you can't be emotionally attached to your dad... Like, and you can't have any respect for him. You lose all respect when you see someone doing like yeah. that. And then knowing that your mom doesn't know and should probably have known, like, you lose respect for her. And obviously she was a bitch. So, like, yeah. yeah. And then your brother is just, she obviously had no relationship with her brother at all. That's nuts. Yeah. That's fair, insane. Fair play to you. In yeah. A way, I mean, she got, she, shit. yeah, she didn't just like take the money and was like, I'm going out. Like mm-hmm. she used it to go to the college she wanted. So yeah. I, I'm like fucking hats off to you. Like, well done. She yeah. She good. followed her dream. Yeah. Like, I mean, cause her mom was obviously oppressing her and not yeah. allowing her to do. Cause she, it seemed she must've had interest in what would, we would conventionally consider boyish things. So yeah. like martial arts and comic, comic books. books. Yeah. Yeah. So, Obviously, her mom wanted her to be, like, a girly girl. Yeah. And, and she didn't nice follow husband. along. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm fucking, I know all about that because that's what my family was like. Yeah. Literally growing up, they would be like, how pretty are you because you need to find a rich man. And literally, when I was a child, I was like, I don't give a shit if my man is rich. I need to love this person because yeah. I'm going to be with them for the rest of my life. Mm-hmm. Like, True that. Yeah. How but, now you find yourself a rich man? <laughs> oh, we're becoming rich together. Yes, yeah, yes. yeah. So the journey to become better, millionaires. It's li- we've me and Selby have gone through so much fucking shit and literally being so broke, barely fucking making ends meet. So you know, and then when you start to make a little bit of money, you're enjoying it together. And yeah, it's, yeah, it's nice. To find a, not find a rich man. Find a man get they, rich. Find a man yeah, that's that you what, love that's what we do and grow babe. together. Yeah, yeah. Do it in a fucking healthy way. Because if you find a man that's rich. That's what happened to my mum. She met my dad. My dad had loads of money. She got pregnant and she was like, oh, well, he'll be able to provide for my kids. They'll be fine. But she didn't think about the fact that she doesn't want to be with him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So then it's like, how long is this going to last? They lasted quite long for, you know, I think they were together for like 13 years. So, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. that's quite long yeah. for, for a relationship where you're not fully in love with someone. Oh, yeah. From the beginning. Yeah. They're like, yeah. Cool. Damn. No, yeah. thanks. Imagine misunderstanding someone saying that to you and just finding a man called Richard. Yeah. <laughs> oh my what? god, that was literally my my. That's my last name. I yeah, have no, my. I yeah. found. I Richard. found it. Yeah. <laughs> Richard. Yeah. But 